Hey, what's up? It's Primo. And one thing we do here at Master Boxing is uh, channel different styles of different fighters, like the great, like the greats that we've uh, seen in the sport of boxing. Um, some some of the styles, some of the things you've probably seen us do is like the peekaboo, uh, which a fighter like Mike Tyson channel uh, did when he was in his his thing, doing his thing, the Philly Shell, like many fighters like Floyd Mayweather, like Bernard Hopkins, uh, a little bit of Sugar Ray Leonard, and other guys have used. So you guys probably seen us do that here at uh, Master of Boxing. Other styles or other skill sets that we picked up that you guys might not see is uh, stuff uh, fighters like Manny Pacquiao. We, we try to implement his speed, uh, punch combinations on like the bag drills and our shadow boxing. Um, who else we said? Glenn Johnson uh, from his body shots and stepping to the side and shooting shots to the solar plex. Um, people like Rocky Marciano who who uh, did the uh, the duck. What, what would you call that? Rolling a uh, rolling hook, something like that. So. Um, uh, my point here, though, is um, boxing is a, is a style of fighting. You know, it's you got you got karate, you got martial arts, all that stuff. You got MMA, uh, but in boxing, I mean, if, let's face it, everybody has two arms and two feet. So if you're if you're just dependent on on one one way of fighting, then I, I just believe that you're not going to get too far. Uh, doing that because if it doesn't work and you're just dependent on that one style You don't you don't have a backup. You can't switch the style up You can't you don't have a backup plan to, to change the look when when that's not working like um, Like for instance if um, my outside game is not working and I'm a shorter fighter like some of these guys are with me Because I'm taller like if these guys have to get on the inside and and if they don't, if they don't put the reps in during these drills that we do, uh, practicing on the inside, then they're not going to be able to channel that and go to it when it's needed against a taller fighter. And same with me. Like if if I need to, if if I'm used to fighting on the inside and that's not working because I'm uh, up against a bigger opponent like I was last week, um, I'm going to have to switch my game up and fight box on the outside and use my footwork so if, if i'm not practicing that implementing implementing it in drills and transferring it and being uh i won't be able to transfer it into the ring um there's also something else i wanted to say uh, i don't know <laughs> some of my favorite fighters though are you know floyd mayweather i like how he throws the jab to the body, so that's one thing I try to. Um, I'm trying to get down right now, um, and it's not. It's not just the 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 skill set. When we look at these guys, we also try to look at their um, their their physicalness in the ring, their the mentality that they have going into the fight. So. You know, as a as a uh, up and coming fighter, I believe practicing these different styles and studying studying all these uh, good fighters is is something that's going to give you the edge. Because all these fighters, they've had they have that one single thing that separated them from another fighter that made them great. You know, like Sugar Ray Leonard, right. he he was fast. You know, there's plenty of other fast fighters out there, but. Sugar Ray Leonard, he 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 let the, those punches go in combinations, speed and power at the same time on the inside. You know, uh, people like Mike Tyson uh, with the peekaboo style, f fast as hell at the same time with his with his head movement, but the the power was behind that. And you know, just people like. Roy Jones Jr. He was flashy, and he was fast, but uh, all he was dependent on was was that. And when he moved up in weight class, yeah, his defense, you know, it caught up to him. So he got caught with, 
you know, shots he, was, he wasn't getting caught with in the lower weight classes. And, you know, he was depending on that one style, and it just caught up to him. So, so you always want to develop your game in this boxing world and, and just don't, don't be dependent on one style because you're going to run into somebody one day that, that's just going that, – that style you might like or use all the time, it's not going to work. So you got to be able to call on different things and be able to um, uh, believe in your head that, you know, what you know is, is, is going to get you the win that night and, and make you be the best fighter that night and do what you got to do. So um, with that said, I want to give a shout-out to my boy George Copa. He's also a fighter here at Master Boxing. He got a fight this weekend, so good luck to you, George. We know you're going to do your thing represent and just remember all this uh, stuff that we practice here at the gym. So we appreciate y'all watching. It's Master Boxing. We make champions. We make champions. We make champions. That's right. We out.